Okay, we're learning how to tie the foreign hand on someone else. So, average length tie, counting the buttons on the torso, one, two, three, four, five, and having tied this before, I know the proper length would be a six on the button. So, length of the narrow in there, always crossing over at the second button. So, the narrow end across the top, the wide end crossing over, both over that second button. Now, taking that pinched in my hand, I'm going to go behind the knot, keeping my thumb in position, over the thumb, and I'm going to come up the back, out the neck, and into this loop we're creating. So I'll take all the length up over it first, loosen up that, I'm pushing my thumb outward, putting that wide end down into the loop, and now when you're first learning to tie these, this is going to be a common occurrence. You're going to get to this part, think you messed up, and have to start over. When this happens, you get this long rectangular box instead of a nice neat triangle. Just reverse your pull just a little bit, back that up. And instead of pulling it here to the right hand side, I'm going to tuck it down to the left. I can pinch that bottom in, give it a nice neat triangle, and I cinch that up to the button. I'm going to pull down on the narrow end, gently holding the knot and moving side to side to help slide that fabric across the neck. Once that is in position, lower the collar just like that. One last adjustment there. And now we're going to take that loop on the back side, put the tail of the tie down within it. That helps keep the two nice and neat together and you may add a tie clip as you like depending on if you're going to wear it without a vest with a vest or with a suit coat back this up so you can see the length so on this particular tie they are nearly tip to tip very good placement on that one there you have it